So in this video I'm going to show you the clone finder. The clone finder is designed for use in the managed system, not in solution manager, right? So the transaction for the clone finder slash SDF slash CD underscore CCA. So under the CCA uh, custom code analysis uh, set of uh, tools. So what I'm going to cover today is the clone finder. So with the clone finder, this is designed to find any code which you've cloned from SAP in the past and you've made some changes. What I suggest you do, maybe if you execute this in background, I've already run one of these and I've stored the results in, in the buffer. So now I'm going to I'm going to load it back from the buffer. So it'll be nice and quick. So here's one that I've run earlier. Over here is the customer object name and this is the original name that the clone came from. Alright, so there's a number of different statistics here. So SAP has classified it uh, based on fingerprint technology. So it'll find a number of fingerprints and rank your clones according to how close or not close to SAP code. So here is an example of some identical code. So for some reason, we made uh, an identical clone of this thing at the code side by side. I will click here and there's absolutely no difference between the SAP object and the one that I've cloned. And then if you navigate on down, you will find some very similar um, source code and then some similar. So based on the number of fingerprints, so there's 276 fingerprints, which is quite high here. So if we have a look, the only uh, code that we've changed here is a couple of submits here. So we've changed the submit from the standard SAP submit and return and we've run our own program in here. We might just have a quick look at the T code similarity. So here we find all the transaction codes which we may have cloned from SAP. So here you can see the customer transaction and then the, the package it belongs to. So in this screen you can see the customer transaction, uh, the text behind the transaction and the standard SAP transaction which has been cloned from. So just another couple of things uh, to help you reduce your reliance on custom code. So this is a custom code analysis screen where you can find the clone finder.